Hospitals are under your your remit, and what is the equipment situation in in those hospitals? Well, thanks for having me, Andrea. We have uh, six hospitals in our system and a, uh, uh, an additional site that uh, functions as our uh, rehabilitation hospice center. Uh, the situation with our personal protective equipment is uh, quite tight. Uh, we certainly have enough from day to day, but uh, we're very concerned about where we'll be uh, two or three or four days out. Right now, we have uh, sufficient supplies of N95 respirators and face shields and, and surgical masks, but uh, we don't have one to spare. And in terms of the, um, the medical school that you have, we noticed that NYU suggested that their medical students could advance their graduation and start as interns. Is there any, any prospect of doing that at Penn? You've got a very large medical school. There is. Uh, most of our fourth year students have completed their studies at this point and uh, we're awaiting graduation in mid-May. But uh, we're working with uh, with the dean and the vice dean for education to try to uh, accelerate their uh, uh, entry. About a third of our graduating class will be coming to us as uh, as residents to complete their, their medical training. So uh, we're, uh, we're looking into the possibility of, uh, of moving them on board at, at an earlier time. We're also looking at, uh, at our resident physicians and our fellows to bring them on staff, uh, fellows training in specialty areas, and we'd like to bring them on staff where possible. And we're looking at uh, all manner of redeployments across the system so that we can backfill where we have uh, shortages of staff. I want to read you something. I got a communications from a doctor whom I know in a suburban New York um, hospital who's been on, uh, who's been there and has been interviewing other doctors, others of his colleagues, reporting from the front. Uh, he uh, writes sure. that he writes that they ran out of propofol, the most useful sedative for ventilated patients. That hydroxychloroquine is being rationed. Vitamin C, preferably IV, is in limited supply. Outpatient meds, including hydroxychloroquine, is a running risk of being depleted. I mean, this is just uh, just one report from one doctor interviewing a number of his colleagues. Are you facing those kinds of, of shortages of meds? Supply chain is, uh, is a very serious issue in, uh, in every respect. Uh, we are uh, paying close attention to our supplies through pharmacy and our materials management folks are giving us daily reports and we're really looking across the system on a regular basis to see where we have to move supplies. Some of the drugs that you mentioned uh, are in short supply. Uh, we haven't run out of them. Hydroxychloroquine is one that we've been using to, uh, to treat patients, although uh, we don't have uh, great evidence on its efficacy yet. But uh, we've really had to clamp down on the use of that drug to ensure that we have it when we, when we need it. So all of the supply chain is under very close, close scrutiny at this point. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.